They're dealing with a lot of destruction. In fact, you can see that red tape here behind me. They say they've lived here for more than 20 years, and of course, something like this has never happened, and we're standing as close to it as we can get while still staying safe. Look at this. The car, of course, is now gone, so you can see right inside the home, but that's the big problem. The home is not safe, so the homeowners, they can't even go inside it. That's what it is, one in a million, yeah. Unlikely odds. For this longtime Placer County homeowner, Bob Aaron's home is now behind red caution tape and under tarps after a car flew through the air and into his second story on Sunday night. The vehicle came down that road. If you look at the fence, mm -hmm. he only hit the top of it. It was airborne when it went through that fence and they just flew to the house. That's, uh, what do you say, 75 feet? Cal Fire says they worked with California Highway Patrol and a rescue team to get the driver out of the car using this rope system for safety. They even had PG&E shut off power in the area. The driver was in there, like I said, for two and a half hours, and then when they went to get her out, they put her in a gurney and then brought her out through that window on this side and down that ladder but they asked us to stand back. Now that the car is out, Arendt is left with this massive hole in his home, exposing everything to the elements. What room are we looking at now? Where did it impact on the second floor? That is my wife's craft room. Actually, it's a bedroom. So it, it landed in the corner of the bedroom and the stairwell. A room he says his wife would have normally been in if they weren't at a barbecue nearby. Uh, she's pretty upset. But the couple says they are grateful they were not home. For now, they're living in this RV on their property as they try to figure out what to do next. I guess you'd say we're in limbo right now. Yeah, speaking of being in limbo, the hits keep coming. The homeowner tells me his home insurance says they are not covering this, so he really doesn't know what to do. The driver's insurance, though, is coming out later this week to look at the damage, so he says for now his fingers are crossed. We're live in Placer County. Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. Hard to imagine that your homeowner's insurance wouldn't cover that. Um, Brittany, what do you know about the driver at this point? So at this point, CHP says the investigation is really early on, but they were able to share a few new details with me today. They said that the driver, as you saw, she was taken out of the car and through the home. She was actually airlifted to Sutter Roseville Hospital, and she was facing major injuries. At this point today, they don't have an update on her status. They do say, though, if drugs and alcohol were involved is part of their investigation. We should be learning more by the end of the week. All right, Brittany, what a wild situation. Thank you.